Hey, Shalom. 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 Hey, first and foremost, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ba'akadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. Is that the man that taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth? Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity, most especially in these last days. Uh, shalom to all those who are sincerely seeking this truth. Um, once more, it's uh, the, the GMS Italy and the GMS Germany. You know, all praises to the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai for making it possible that we're gathered here. You know, we can fellowship together, and this is the beauty of the brotherhood. So, you know, we just wanted to do a quick video. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. And the title is going to be uh, the benefits of uh, of checking on your health. Okay, well, what's a better title? The importance of your health. The importance of your health. You know, because mm -hmm. um, you see, in this kingdom. Uh, we have the spirit of um, we're being carried away. It's all about the money, m piling up the money, you know, piling up everything. You know, people walk, walk themselves out many hours and all that, and they forget to take good care of their body. You know, they forget, and you know, on on on, on the line, the body gets to a point where it breaks down. It can't it can't handle all this no more. Like they call it burnout, right? Yeah. What do you call it? Burnout. The burnout. You know, the body breaks down. You know. So it's important that you know we take we, we take a moment, you know we take a moment we reflect on all this because the scriptures actually speak about all this. Take good care of yourself. Um, your your body is also the temple of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, in which you also need to you know care for this body. It being the, the temple of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, and the scripture says that whosoever destroyed the, the temple of the Most High shall be destroyed. Yeah, God. You know, hey, there you go. First Corinthians three sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temples, exactly which temple ye are. Can't. So you see, it's either spiritually or physically, you don't mess with the temple of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, which is your body, you know? So, um, I would like us to start with, uh, with that scripture, um, Oh, uh, what is what is it? Uh, I got it. Ecclesiastes. Okay. Two and twenty-four. No, no, no. One and uh, he wanted one and two. Okay. We, we vanity can, or vanity. We can start upon vanity on vanity. Yes, yeah. because you see, over here it's all vanity. People be running after material things, you know, running after all different kinds of desires, and they forget themselves, man. They forget themselves. I share a quick story on the on the edifice where I live. It's a sixth floor. I live on the on the sixth floor. And I think on the fourth or the fifth floor, uh, on the fourth floor, if I'm not mistaken, there was this empty apartment there, and there used to be a Jake. I never met the Jake because I, um, um, someone actually told me about one of my neighbors actually told me about what went down. So I never met this Jake, and he was living in this apartment. And one day they just woke, um, they, they found out that the apartment is locked and it stinks, you know, it stinks for a long time. So they had to break down the door and they found out that the Jake was dead in his house, you know. And as what I heard was this, this was a very hard working Jake. These are those Jakes that work, work, it's all about work, 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 work. They can barely spare themselves uh, maybe 20 euros to eat good food, you know? And we don't want to be like this because it's all vanity, man, you know? There you go. Um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 2. Vanity of vanity. Oh, let me start verse 1. Ecclesiastes 1 and 1. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king, of, king in Jerusalem. Vanity of vanities, save the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Can't. All is vanity, man. Because you, you, you're piling yourself riches in this place in which the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahshai can decide to take your life at any time. What's that scripture? Um, the the pride, right, prideful man that, that the most high cost worms to eat him up. That, look at that scripture. Uh, I think it's um, uh, was, uh, Herod. Herod, yeah, they said, oh, you foolish man. No less doubt if you're going to leave tomorrow or something like that. La scrittura che il padre ha fatto mangiare un uomo con i vermi era orgoglioso. Era Antioco. Antioco, sì. No, 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 Antioco, nel Nuovo Testamento. Let me see. Let me see this. I also got a scripture. Let me read the Okay, you can read what you have. Let me say. Yeah, because um, like the brother was saying, you have to understand that first and foremost, like it says in Haggai chapter 1, we gather but we don't keep we have like a bag of holes 
So whatever you gain is going to be going quick. So if you overwork yourself, you actually work for nothing. Because first and foremost, this world is going to pass away. And that's why you have to also lay your focus on the kingdom. But to do that more, you have to also focus on your, on your health. Because the healthier you are, the more productive you're also going to be in the truth. Because if you're a guy that weighs, has a height of 175 and weighs 100 kilos, and it's all fat, you should check yourself, man. Because this means that your health is not in check. So you need to sleep more, you eat more, which also going to cause you to sleep more, and your health is uh, not on point, which is going to make you more un unproductive in this truth. So you have to also prioritize the truth, uh, your, uh, your, your health in this truth, that you be more productive for the Heavenly Father. You know, because if you can't perform the necessary deeds, hey, this doesn't look good for you. And also to jump back on the point from the brother, uh, let me read this, the book of Sirach, chapter 29. Let me start at verse 20, because that's also a, a problem that Jake has, man. Jake always wanted to give too much to other people, but you have to first fix yourself and get yourself in the order, and then you can help other people. So if I have a problem with my health, I get my health in order, and then, for example, this brother have a problem with himself, then I go on him, you know? And also the financial business, if, 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 on the financial um, aspect, because if you barely paying your rent and the brother is in need and you're gonna give it now, for example, your rent is 300 euros, right? And you make 700 euros a month. So you barely paying your rent. You have 400 euros to survive. Now you give the brother 400 euros. What are you gonna live off, man? Either you're gonna come short on your, on your rent or you're gonna be on a begging tip because you have no money. So you have to first get yourself established before you can help others, man. That's also a very important thing because in this truth, the brotherly love is one of the most important things, but to be a good brother and to be a good help for brothers is to get yourself um, um, in order first. Because if I'm in order, this brother doesn't have to worry about me. If he's in order, we don't have to worry about him. So that's why you get yourself in order first and then you can help everybody else. So it says, Sarek 29 and verse um, 20, help thy neighbor according to thy power and be aware that thou thyself fall not into the same. So if one brother is broke, he lost his job or something, and like I said, you're barely making it, you should not give all your money to him because then you're gonna be in the same position. Then you go to the next brother and gonna ask him, what kind of sense does it make? This is why the communication is also very important because if I have a problem in the camp in Germany, I talk to the head of the camp, and then it goes down the chain and it's gonna be fixed out, fixed up. Same thing in Italy. If the brother Khalam has a problem, he goes to Yahayala, the head of, head of Italy. And then he, for example, comes to Germany. We fix some things up and then it keeps on going. So we help each other, but you need to fix yourself first. And then uh, the 22 says, better is the life of a poor man. Oh no, verse 21, select it. The chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame. And this is what the people forget because people think about having fancy cars, having fancy clothes. No, the, you need the basic needs are what? Food, water, clothes, and a house to protect you from the elements. Clothes to protect you from the elements and to be covered. So you have to focus on these things, man. And Salakia, good yeah. food. Sorry to cut you short. Good yeah. food. The brother spoke about food. Good food. Because, you yeah. know, so some people, they'll be spending crap on food yeah. because they want to save. Because they want to buy this, they want to buy. Yes, we know the situation that we live in in Esau's kingdom is really difficult. Esau don't help to every one of us. You know, we've got taxes, we're laden with all different kinds of fines and all that. But at the end of the day, you need to treat your body good, as the brother just read. Food, you know, you need to eat good food, get good medicine, which which comes from the herbs. You know, make your body sound. When your body is sound, then your mind is sound, man. You know. Got a precept. There you go. Um, and just, just to jump back on the brother's point, you also have to, the first step is to keep the dietary law of the Heavenly Father. That's the first step, to stop right. eating pork, stop eating shrimps, crabs, and lobster, and stuff like that. Okay, that's the first step. But then, if you compare, for example, I go to um, a Turkish butcher, you know, where they have to the so-called halal food, you know? When I go there, the food is of much better quality if I go, than uh, the supermarket. So you have to also, if it's in your ability, hey, eat, eat better food, man. Eat better quality food, man. Because Esau, when you look at the, 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 the environment and how they treated the, the animals, it is terrible, man. At least these Muslims claim that they cut the, um, and butcher the, 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 the animals the right way. Which is and letting, the blood goes out. The blood goes out. So you have, you know, the blood runs out like on a sacrifice. 
then you eat the food. So and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, you're making a point. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's better. What I want to say, it's better to spend a few more on 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 quality food yeah. than to spend it later on medicine. Exactly. Know? This is what Issa wants actually. This is why he has a low quality to quality food. So this is why he poisons everything. That you eat the cheap food that you just get, and then you have to run to the doctor. And you speaking about the halal food, yeah. his mother actually, the brother right here, the brother Kalam, his mother actually, um, she, she made testimony to it because the brother was teaching the mother not to get uh, the meat from, from the Italian stores mm -hmm. because th there is blood in it and that sure. blood makes it spoil real quick and, and you know, it's contaminated, man. It's, uh, the blood is the life of, of the animal. You're not meant to eat it, man. It's unlawful. Yeah. Uh, it's unlawful. A, a normal man with his right senses, we don't eat blood. Yeah. So the mother actually started going to get some meat from the from the halal and she, she she actually testified back to Kalam telling him that man the meat that we get from these people from halal it lasts longer than the other meat and that makes so much sense because it, there is no blood and, you know? on, and on top of that what you have in the grocery shops is that they have a lot of water huh. the meats contain a lot of water because if you have 500 grams it's like big like this it's gonna shrink when you boil it, when you when you cook it to this size, man. So, they also they also purposely inflate water into yep, the ship, man. We've, exactly. seen, we've seen videos, man. Exactly. So this shows you that you actually have to buy to get the same amount of meat, the same price, man. So just check yourself, man. And this is more for the uh, the, the brothers in Europe, because I don't know the situation in America. In America is a whole different story, you know. But you in Europe have the chances, man. You know, and it's not even that expensive. If I, for example, talk about Germany, I don't know the price in Italy. If I go there to the to the uh, to the, to the store, to the Turkish store, I get um, a kilo of uh, chicken breast for nine euros or something, man. or eight euros or something, you know? And this lasts for three days. That's food for three days. And that's another thing, man. Check out certain diets, man. Jump on the keto diet, man. Jump on the keto diet because you have to get yourself in order, man. If you're not, you, if you yourself not in, if your body's not in order, you can't be in order in this truth, man. You know? You can't be. But um, I got another scripture. Um, if, if you don't have it, um, something. Yeah, you know, I was speaking about, uh, I was speaking about Jake's trying like save money for, for BS. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah know? exactly. They put, aside, they, put, like they put aside yeah. money, they can buy better cars, they can yeah. buy um, better, better, better shoes and all that. They can yeah. buy uh, the latest iPhones, but they can't eat good, you know? Yeah. What are you piling all that for? Oh, hey, this, um... this is the scripture I was speaking about, mm -hmm. Luke 12. Yeah, you can read it. Uh, what do you what, what do you want to bring up? Oh, because I was thinking about a story that the, the brother Jacob from Germany told me. He told me there was a female. She had in America. She had pff, Gucci shoes, Fendi bag, Prada this, and then she came home. She didn't even have a car, man. <laughs> she didn't even have a bag, man. She didn't even have a bag. She was sleeping on the floor, but she was Gucci out when she went out of the house. It shows you that they focus on the wrong things. And this is this is exactly what uh, the problem of Jake is. You know why? Yeah because Jake is oppressed in this place and Jake yeah. in order to, to, to put himself on the standard same standard as Esau you know he tries to show on the outside but your riches is, is actually in the inside man yeah. you yes, know and and also with Esau they don't even do it like that man can't Esau, Esau doesn't even do that <laughs> Esau don't buy 700 Gucci bag only the rich rich ones because they know they can afford it but Jake is so um brought low in their mind in their mentality that they want to impress was it yeah yeah was it good Check out, you got hands in his place. Oh, really? Oh, oh shit. shit. You can come up here. Oh, you got hands here too. Hey, here. Yeah. It's better. Come where I am. Kujira, la camera. That's good. That's good. If you take uh, Matthew chapter, if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get it. I can get it. Matthew chapter 23, verse 27 and 28. But you had a first, right? Yeah, yeah, but. Okay, the, the preset I was saying is um yeah. the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 19 like the brother was saying the chick had all gucci all all that whatever you know but she had no no she doesn't even have a bed to sleep you know many jakes be, be piling up different food different different things for themselves you know be thinking about a certain future that they're not even sure they can get to that future man mm -hmm. you know the future you should be expecting is the kingdom of heaven because the most high Shai can require life at, at any time you know this is the book of luke 12 i start from verse 19 and I will say to my soul, thou hast much goods laid up for my for, for many years. Take they, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Many Jakes, you know, they they, they they piled up different much money, working extra, working their life out and all that. 
thinking of their pension when they go on pension that's what jake is thinking of you know but check check this out but the most high in verse 20 say but the most high yahweh shemi Oshai said unto him thou fool this night thy soul shall be required of thee then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided the most high can decide to take your life at any time and all that good all that gucci and all that whatever people 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 you don't even know that never labored for them they'll be putting them on and they would not even remember you no more you know go Ecclesiastes 1 and 3 it says what profit has man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun one generation passes away and another generation cometh but the earth abideth forever yeah because like the brother was going into you can die tomorrow and then a new generation is already there you know you can just pass away from the day to tomorrow that life can be taken away that's why certain people also have the wrong mentality of yolo you know that's why they have this why they spent everything oh i can die tomorrow but you have to understand that you should not build riches upon this world because they're going to pass away eventually like I wish I said in Matthew chapter 6, <coughs> you know, the earth shall pass away and the riches to earth, but the heavenly father's kingdom going to buy forever. So you have to understand that you should focus on the kingdom and the focus of the kingdom requires a good body, man, a good health. Going back to that point. Because if you want to be very productive in this truth, your mind, because you have to understand that you have to uh, got brain connection. Whatever you eat affects your mind. Whatever you put in your mouth affects your mind. So if you eat things that ki causes you to uh, create, what is it, um, worms and shit like that in your parasites. body. Parasites. Parasites to other parasites. And um, cause it to always be tired. You're gonna, your, your mind going to be tired, man. You know? If you don't eat healthy food, the food that is really beneficial for you, you're going to be constantly thinking about food because you have to fill it up. You have to right. restock, restock, restock. So what you eat going to affect your mind. So this is what the scripture says. We're going to read it later. Um, the, the, the good state of a body is above gold. Can't, can't. You know, but I want to first read the scripture of Halam uh, because it goes to the point that you make or that we made. Just real quick to add to what you just said about the, the, the body. Yeah. You see, you have various systems in the body. The digestive system is the most complex of that system. Because, you know, when you put in food into your, into your body, the digestive system, according to what I read, it takes about 90% of, 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 of the energy of your body, man, to, to break down food, to process foods, take them back to the different compartments of your body and make them filter and all that, you know? So if you eat good food, you see the digestive system don't need to work so much. It's just like a computer, no? It's just like a, a computer. If you're working on a computer and you're not opening um, programs that are too heavy for the computer, you know the system just moves flow, flow without 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 the, the fans starting to work and all that yeah. but once you start opening programs that are too heavy for the computer everything start blocking then the fans start running you start hearing the noises from the computer it's the same thing as the digestive system and the digestive system when it doesn't find energy it uses it uses also the energy of your of your brain of your mind it uses all the, it, it, um, it concentrates all your body energy into breaking down foods Myself, I am guilty of, you know, not eating very, very well, you know, in which, you know, we all need to have a start in this thing. You know, there is always a proper be beginning, you know, take good mm. care of yourself, spend extra money to eat good, spend extra money to get those massages, you know, get your, your bones straightened out and all that. If you, if, you, if you have problems with your teeth, like myself, I have problems with my teeth. It's, uh, it's uh, what do you call it? This is, this is an investment, man. I was speaking with the brother, Nathan Zayab. And the brother actually opened my eyes to a lot of things about all this thing. This is also caring for your temple of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah You see? Mm -hmm. So that that's just what and I want to add. That's all I got for appointing the... the um, that's the one. Um, the parasite... Uh, yeah, this, in the body. The, the, the word of Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai take, take out of an old body the, the parasite. You, you remember the film uh, Matrix? Mm -hmm. When uh, take yeah. out a parasite. The word God. of Musayyab Bashmi Al Shai take out the Edomite parasite, the mind, the mentality of Edom. This word, mentality, vanity mentality. The spirit of the yeah, spirit this, of the this world. spirit See? take out. Can't, 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 because can't. it takes demons out of you, which are parasites. Can't. And this is why, because when you think about the worldly, it's what eat all day, every day, whatever you want. Can't. But every father gives you a guideline how to eat, what to do, what not to do. So stick to it. That's the first step. Keep the dietary laws the first step. And then, like the brother said, to jump on that point. You have to understand that, um, like the brother mentioned already, your body is constantly working if you eat. This is why a lot of people, also myself, right now I'm not on it, but usually I'm also on the um, intermittent fasting. 
you know? Ah, and that's the best thing you can do. Man. Because if you don't eat 14 to 16 hours, actually start at 16 hours, then also your cells start uh, regenerating, you know? Your cells get strengthened again because your cells are damaged and then they uh, get healed again. So what you have to understand is if you don't eat for 16 hours, your body has the whole time um, and to put the energy in different places to heal the body, you know? Uh -huh. Because if you, for example, have a cut and you're intermittent fasting, your cut gonna heal faster. Real eat, quick, man. You know, if you, if you don't eat, uh, uh, as if you um, eat. So this is what you have to understand. These, these health tips are not to put a burden upon you, but to help you. These things that the brother just said, you are you are, you should be the biggest biggest investment that is out there. You should not invest in houses before you not get your health straight, man. You should not invest in anything before you, you get are yourself the straight. biggest investment. You know actually. why? Because if you think about it, so now, like I said, jump on the keto diet. If you're on the keto diet, which I was before I came to Italy, because you know here you have the pasta and stuff like that, <laughs> the pizza, you have to eat good, man. You know you eat a little bit good. So before I came here, I was on the ketogenic diet, and what you have is you have a strict meal plan. To that, with the meal plan that you make for yourself, it's not nothing crazy. You have a set budget for your for your food. This is gonna help you also to manage your money better. So to that, you can invest a little bit in herbs, invest in this, then the third. So it's just you have to bring order into your life, and this is really the main point that I think that we want to hit in this true in this lesson right now. Bring order into your life, and the big point of that is the health. You know. Is your bodily health. And another point of that is bodily exercise, man. Ah, bodily exercise. You know? But um, to read the scripture from the brother Khalam, Matthew 23 and 27, it says, Warn to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whitest sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead man's bones Khan. and of, of all uncleanness. Khan. And this, this actually, the reason why the brother brought out this point, it goes out to those jakes, you know, with the Gucci, with the Gucci glasses and Versace's. Yeah. But in, on the inside, they're spiritually dead, you know, and physically they're dead as well, man. Yeah. You know, they don't take good care of themselves. They be, you got this, um, this so-called, um, celebrities, they've been making videos on whatever, you know, showing videos of them eating the, 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 the yeah. KFC chicken and all that. You know, they got themselves 50, 50 packs of chicken or whatever and all that BS, you know, they got all that money. But they don't got they don't have the wisdom of how to take care of themselves well, that's drink, why it's not like can't can't drink cola yeah drink yeah coca-cola Coca and all that bs you know that's why you see many of the celebrities fall dead anytime you know apart from the fact that esau be using them for sacrifices his motherfuckers don't take good care of themselves you know they be going on all different kinds of tours they'll be singing on the on the stage and they fall dead but but you know what it is also they show that jake does it yeah. Because, for example, Cardi B said, I would never let my daughter listen to my music. Yeah, I can't. She said See? it. So the same thing with the food. They show, they eat these things, but actually, they get fixed up, man. They get fixed they up. Get they, do fixed it all up. For, they do it all for Jake. They but some of, sure. really, some of them are really blind, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are really fucked up yeah. and yeah. stupid, man. That's the thing. That's why yeah. I also show always this figure of smoke and drinking. Because alcohol is also another thing, man. It's good to speak about wine, drink, drunk moderately. Moderately. Can't. Moderately. In measure, it's good for a man. Not, not be a, to, to be a fucking drunkard, man. And so, this is not the time we really want to be drunkards, man, because uh, scripture speaks about it, man. And this is, a, you know what it is? Everything has to be limited in your life. Can't. You can't be 24 7 with your wife. It's not good for you. You should not be 24 7 alone. It's not good for you. You should not be 20, 24 7 with people. A perfect should, balance, man. That's the point. Everything needs to, you need to limit yourself on everything. You should not eat 24 7. You know? You can't read and do the scriptures 24 7. Everything needs to be in a balance for yourself, and this is individually. For example, I can handle five times a work week, uh, five times a week workouts. Another brother might not. Another brother can maybe do six times a week. You know, another brother handles right now seven videos a week, ten videos a week, twelve videos a week, others three videos a week. You have to find the balance for yourself, and you're gonna grow in it. That's the importance. Uh -huh. You know, you need to grow in it. And like the brother said, because he mentioned it, and I, I we are very similar in that. You wanna be already. 10,000 steps ahead already from the point that you are right now but you have to patiently go into that because every step you take is a growth for you you know you change the the, the just a picture from uh, what is says from the monkeys to human right <laughs> now it's from yeah. the humans to the monkeys. exactly from humans to the monkeys but what you have to understand is we actually do the same thing you start as a little child and the more you walk the, the, the more you grow because you gain more experience so you have to be patient with yourself we all want to be already in the kingdom. We all want to be back there. We see the big mountains. We want to be on the top of the mountain, man. But we can't. 
you know we are not there yet so um to finish up the scriptures matthew 23 and 28 it says even so you also even so you also outwardly appear righteous unto men but within you are full of hip hypocrisy and iniquity and like the brother was mentioning you know because these jake look so called these especially females look so called good out from the outside you know with the fair booties good bodies but inwardly they're demons man they actually want to kill your spirit and on top of that when you really deal with these women you're going to see if they really take care of their health or not because they stink a lot of them stink man and this is why because they eat all the um, unclean foods so their body gonna push it out to the pores and one of the biggest holes that they got is you know their genital and so this is gonna also stink so you're gonna see the wickedness of these people when you deal with them this is why we don't eat hey, this is what the Alice Apostles say, man. Hey, the, 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 what is it? What I say? The black woman is a demon, man. Hmm. It's a demon. But yeah, I, I was thinking about one scripture. Hey, I want to co conclude yeah. with the scripture that actually brought, brought out. Yeah. The book of Luke 12. I'll just read through, but the point is actually at 21. Yeah. It says, And I will say unto my soul, So thou hast had. 12 what? Th um, 12 19. Oh, 12 19. Yeah. It said, thou, thou, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Yeah. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But the Most I said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee, when whose shall the, those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich towards the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You see, the scripture tells you about uh, the treasures of this place. You really want to, you really want to invest in the spiritual bank of there. You know, treasures that cannot be uh, that cannot be corrupted. And as we say, many people, you know, their life is all about that, you know, laying up treasures in this place. But the greatest investment, as we said, is this truth. And it all starts from you. It starts from you, just like the brother came into at the beginning. If this brother is okay, then, you, you know, this body works fine, you know. If you're taking good care of yourself, you're good. You know, I don't need to care about, I don't need to have um, your burden placed on myself, you know. This is part of all, it's all connected, you know. The greatest investment, it starts from you. That's why it tells you. The most I dwell it not in temples of men, but dwell it in you, man. You know, your body is now the temple of the most I, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You need to care for this temple. And really, the brother was speaking about intermittent uh, fasting. This is this is this is actually the diet I used to go through, man. And I'm uh, and I can tell I can tell you really because I, <laughs> I I do that fasting really really heavy, man. Sometimes I will go. I I have only dinner all through the day. No water, no food, nothing, man only dinner till the next day dinner till the next day dinner you know and i can tell you when you're in such uh such diets you know such uh diets some but it's not it's not it's not you, you can do it for some time you know then jump to the keto then from the keto you break you go back to the fasting and all that you know you balance everything a little bit but your body works in a different way man and you see the body is one of the greatest machines you can ever imagine as a matter of fact all the machineries that you have on, on earth today they are all built being looked at our body based on them. based on the body you know the most i actually created a, 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 a machine that esau that searches everything out is always there that's why esau is always there opening cutting on people's body opening people's body just to get some things you you have a perfect machine that the most i yahweh created which is your body you know and this body really believe me we can take this body to another level of understanding that's why you see most of the time when um, the Most High would speak to his prophets, he would tell them, go on this fasting seven days. When the Most High was going to give visions to, to the prophet Ezra, he told the prophet Ezra to, to, to fast, you know. At some time, he would tell him to eat only, um, only herbs of certain, of certain plants, you know. Because your body, in order to be connected to the Most High, you can't have it defiled, man. There is a reason why this, there are laws for the foods that you have to eat, you know. And lately, we've all been finding out that, man, <laughs> the laws of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are really, ooh, they're deeper than what we can imagine. Even putting up mixed, mixed fabrics, it, it affects you. It affects your spirit, you know? Now, if you take, uh, what do you call it, the shrimps and all that, and this is what I'm saying about the, many of these celebrities, they've been making videos. They think when they eat those shrimps and those heavy lobsters, they're eating some dainties, man, you know? But they be eating some shit, and that's why many of them fall dead, man. They fall sick, they get crazy, and all these things, uh, they are demons, they're putting demons into you, they corrupt your mind, they corrupt, corrupt your spirit, they put all different kinds of parasites in you, you know? If you take the shrimps and you, uh, you look at it under, under the microscope, you'll be surprised what you find. I got videos on them, man. 
they take the the what do you call it the the, the lobster they put them on that they might, this food is not for you they're created for certain purposes man and their purposes is to filter the water and keep, keep the water clean that's why we have all dead water everywhere because esau is taking all that thing and putting it into your plate yeah, he destroyed the ecosystem you know? He destroyed the ecosystem, the nature, the cycle of nature. Is in ah, the ecosystem is a cycle, man. Um, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 30, verse 14. Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution. Better is the poor being sound and strong. Okay? Better is the poor being sound and strong. Better is a man that labors, and the first thing it thinks about is his health, you know? You might spend maybe 100 euro, 200 euro more on your health to, to, to make sure you're good, yeah. okay? And you don't have that extra 100 euro to get your a Nike, a Nike or Jordan shoes, you know? Better is the poor with, uh, what, what, what does it say? It says, better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution. Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution, you know? And what's the meaning of that constitution? The brother is going to bring it out. Mm. It says mid 14th century constitu constitution. It says law, regulation, edict, body of rules, customs of laws. Let me go down. It says, uh, it says uh, 12th century constitution establishment, act of settling, settled condition. Wait, it has order, ordinance, regulation. What do you say? Meaning. Mm. Acting of, uh, of establishing, so it means to the has, laws, the laws that the most I give you, the dietary yeah. laws, man. That he has established order upon himself. Can yeah. and the order or order upon yourself, or it all starts from the laws that the most I give to you. You know, you have the dietary law, what you need to put into your body, and what you need to put into your body. You know, see, it says here a body of fundamental principles or established uh, precedents according to which. A state or other organization is acknowledged to be governed. Can the composition of something? The Most High has actually created a, 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 a composition of how you need to govern your body. You know how your body needs to be to be cared for. How your body needs to be governed. The book in um, um, Sirach tells you that a, a, a wise man would not abhor um, herbs. Yep. Do you have that? Yeah, I wanted to get that after I finish this. Okay. But uh, let me really quick. This is um, Sarek chapter 38 and um, 4. The Lord has created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not accord them. Can. The Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has created medicine out of the earth, and he that is wise would not abhor them, man. Yeah. You know? But now, you know, Esau, Esau you, we all know about how they transformed uh, the, me the medicine from um, homeopathic. Uh, medicines they changed it to allopathic medicines you know it used to be practiced that we use herbs to, to to cure ourselves if you go down to 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 west africa or the parts of africa these people use herbs man they don't have the sicknesses that they have here in europe you know but the so-called devil came into power and the family of the rothschild you know they came in and they changed it to allopathic medicine man they start giving you medicine from different kinds of chemicals and petroleum you know shit that's gonna fuck your mind up that's why you you go to these doctors and you always whenever you go to this doctor you're actually paying for an appointment for the next time again you know you never get cured they only stop the the pain for a while and it comes back heavier you know you go back there and you 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 become a subscription to these doctors so a wise man would not abhor um the herbs that's where that's where medicine comes from you know but certain foolish people in this kingdom the, the esau esau has gotten into their mind when you start presenting certain herbs to them, they be like, no, 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 no. They want those pills, those whites and uh, those chemicals that Esau put for them. Is, you it, know? is, it, is it tested? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they ask you, if it, is it tested? Stupid more focus, <laughs> man. Hey. You, but then they take Esau's medicine. They say it can't. 10,000. So if you have to small, you remember when you take a medicine out? And you open this, this this freaking card, man. No, man. You can't even read all the side effects. You can't read there, all man. the side effects and, and all, all the that. ingredients in there. And 90%, or let me say like that, actually all medicines are based on herbs, man. All these medicines that you have that are really so called helping you are They're based, all on, based herbs. on herbs. They're Esau just... takes little components of the yeah. herbs, herbs, and he puts other things to make you come back to get exactly. another another pack to keep you sick because you are just a money cow for them. They like you kill milk a cow for for milk, 
Ah, ma se, yeah, la, la maggior parte di quelle cose stanno scritte all'interno sono avvertenze su cose, sugli effetti collaterali. Uh, and yeah, that's just what the brother is just bringing up. What you're saying, say major, major of the things that they write in those papers, there's a, there's a effect, collateral effects yeah. of what, what's. Yeah. So you, you're taking the medicine that's telling you these are the collateral effects. If you, mm. come on. And you know what it is when you take the herbs. Of course, it has a certain herbs have uh, side effects, but they all have a certain side effect because not everybody is made for every herb. But on top of that, it's just when you take too much. And there comes a point that I made before already. And again. Too much of everything. Too much of everything is not good for you. If you take, if you have Kamu Kamu, 500 grams, you take the whole 500 grams and you collapse, man. It, it, you're stupid, man. That's why everything moderately, man. Everything in measure. Even if you drink too much water, yeah. you get fucked up. If you drink too much water, you can die. Yeah, man. you can die. <laughs> because your blood, I think your blood gets too thin then. If you drink too much water, it's like your blood, it thins your blood or something, if I remember right. But going back, so right to the 30 verse uh, 14, it says, Better is to poor being sound and, and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. And you see, you have a lot of rich men in, in, uh, living here today. In, uh, you have so-called jakes that are living really good, man. They got mansions and everything, but they got their systems fucked up. They need to change their blood every six or well, four months, you know? You got people with some diseases you never heard of, you know? And these people are good, man. They got all that money. Yeah, but they can't enjoy it. But they can't enjoy it. This is the mystery, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. They haven't felt cursed them so much that they can't enjoy the riches, man. Damn. But we're gonna. This is the beauty of the kingdom because, like it says, there's no more death, no more pain. You know. Our bodies will be changed. We're gonna be in peace. We're gonna have riches, and we're gonna be. We're gonna be finally healthy, man. Because I'm telling you, man. Even we in a young age, like well, I'm 23 years old, man. People look at me like you, young. I have freaking illness in my body, man. Certain injuries, I'm looking at myself like, hey, I didn't have them before the truth. I didn't have these things. And we look at under 23 year old, they don't have that shit, man. But we have it. Why? Because Satan is testing us like in Job time, man. God, God. All these diseases and sicknesses and afflictions that you have ultimately come from Satan, man. But we have to deal with them. And the heavens like give us remedies to do that. And he gives also, uh, what is it, the physician, like it says in Sabbath 38. So, hey, you have to look up, for example, a good guy that you can which, uh, look up is Eric Burke, man. Dr. Eric Burke. He speaks about the key to die. He speaks about intermittent fast. He speaks about different herbs. You can check him out, man. He has very valuable information for you. But you have to make the research, man. You have to go into that. Hey, but JK ain't ready for such information, no, man. If it's they, not about if it's not about simple, Kodak man. Black shooting, um, NLE chopper boy and all that BS, you know. Yeah. It's not. If it's not entertaining, they're not interested. But uh, it's the book of Sarek 30 and 15. Health and good state of body are above all gold. Health and good estate of body. That's the, That's where the saying comes from. You know, uh, my uh, my health is my wealth. You know, yeah, that's what it is. Man. <laughs> your health is your wealth because you can be rich. It's like 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 we read in the book of Ecclesiastes. You know why? Why are the people working under the sun? One generation pass, another generation comes. Because you can die tomorrow, man. You get sick, you die. You, your wealth goes to the next generation, to your son. So you actually labor labor for nothing, in that sense. Hey, you know? The scripture is really deep, man. Yeah. That's why the scripture tells you, man, um, labor not for what's going to perish, man. Exactly. You got these rich men, that they, they don't labor all their lives. They have all the riches they want, yeah. but they need people to get kidneys from. That's why yeah. you have so much big traffic of, of children, babies and all that. They be changing hearts every 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 two years, every one year, changing kidneys, Who was switching it? all that BS, you know? Was it, um, I think it was the Rockefeller, man. Yeah, the Rockefellers, man. I forgot which one it was. But he had like 10 heart uh, transplantations or Jacob, something. Jacob Rothschild, I think. No, no, it was a Rockefeller, man. It was a Rockefeller, Rockefeller. It was a Rockefeller. Okay. I think uh, but it was not Jacob, but it was um, either... Let me check, let me check. No, it doesn't doesn't really matter, but it's... Uh, it's uh... Okay, okay, but we, we need to end up in the... Come, come, come. Let me finish it off on you. So, Rec 30 and um, 16. There's no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy... No, it's like 15. It says health and good state of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth <laughs> unlimited wealth man if you have a good body it's better than that because like we said if you have these riches but you're sick you can't enjoy that you just worry hey, it's what, to, nothing, man. you have millions of euros but you invest these millions of euros to get healthy huh. so you can't enjoy that verse 16 there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart yeah man and it says even death is better than a better life or continual sickness. God. That's what it is, man. These people actually want to die. And people people don't really understand how it feels. Just yeah. take a day, 
take a day and go to the hospital and check out some 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 sections of the hospital, it's man. Depressing. You 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 you'd really thank the Most High for giving you that help, man. Yeah. You see people living in chronic pains. Yeah. People about they're praying to die, man. You know. Exactly. That's why they even have the death. Uh, what is it? Death. The death. Needle? Yeah. The, 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 what do you call it? The lethal. You don't, yeah. Lethal. Exactly. You don't have it yeah. in every country, but certain countries allow it because. I think in Germany say, you have it. It's allowed. I heard, I heard something like that bro. Because I think it got forbidden uh, recently But I'm not sure Yeah man, but like we said man You know, health It's all about it's, uh, oh, health is it Belgium is, or Germany? Yeah, we can check it out later You know, but um, Health is uh, of the utmost importance man You can round it up You man. know, it's, it's of, of the utmost importance And you have to focus on that man Check out the importance of your health because if you're not healthy, if your body's in a good state, you won't be protected from the truth. And your body is the temple of the Most High Yahweh. Exactly. So you should take care of your body before you take care of anything else, man. Fix your house, fix your finances, fix your job, and above all that, fix your body that you can fix these things. Because if you eat shit, you won't be productive. You won't be able to do the job. You exactly. won't be able to enjoy the rest of the things. Yeah. You know what it is? You're going to eat in the morning, you're going to feel asleep. You feel like sleeping. You work through the day, you're going to come home sleeping. Then you wake up, oh, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, you eat to go to sleep again. Or oh, sluggish all day. You know, that's not what we do, man. We have to be productive. We have to be productive and efficient for the Heavenly Father. As you, as you want your car to be efficient, you put the right fuel in there, right? So put the right fuel in you that you be efficient for the Heavenly Father, man. That's right, it up. So yeah, man, so with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor unto Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Millicent, who told us the truth, peace and blessings, salutations to the elect out there. We're spreading this truth in sincerity and also charity across the four winds. Like we said, GM is Italy, times Germany. Until the next one, we say Shalom. 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 Wow, Baba Baba. Wow, Baba Baba. And the brother going to show you the beautiful view that we had the whole camp. Oh, that's like that camp, the house. Yeah, pop.